What's up guys and gals? Yay, we're home! I made it back to our old house, and so this is one of our safe houses that I had set up over the course of the game. There's another one off to the left, back in the forest over there, and there's one in the middle of the city where it has a bunch of stuff that we can use. But right now, the power just went out in one of the previous episodes, and so unfortunately, we're left with the unfortunate fact that we have a lot of wasted food, we have a lot of stuff that's no longer usable, we're still more or less stocked up in a way where we can last for a while. But as of right now, things just got a little bit more dire, and so in today's episode, we're going to do the best that we can in order to isolate... What just happened right here? There we go. We're going to do the best we can in order to isolate our food supply and our water supply for long, long into the future. At least that's what I'm hoping we'll be able to do. Now, we've cleared out this neighborhood. We're looking pretty solid as far as zombies go. I don't think we have to worry about much here anymore. We've only got a little bit of space left inside of here for food. That's good. That means we have a pantry that is completely and totally stocked. I grabbed some things on my way over, but not that many, like just kind of random stuff that was laying around. We have more than enough water bottles for right now. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take the rest of these and let's stock them so that we know what we have room for. Okay, and so now we're stocked there. We still got an extra water bottle, but I can't really help that. We got three up in the inventory right there. One of these was for water receptacles. Oh, good, I filled them all. I was so worried about that when I was walking on my way over here. I couldn't remember in my head or anywhere else. I think with my full body, I get into it. I got like this big bujitsu dance thing going on. It's kind of like mental capoeira. I don't know, but I move a lot. And so because of that, I think with my whole body, and so I couldn't remember if I had actually stocked any of this up or not. And if the answer was not, it was going to make me cry. And I never want to cry in front of all of you on camera. It won't happen, I hope. I hope there would never be a reason for me to just be like, ah, and just like lose my shit and fall over crying. I don't know. Okay, so that's officially out of water. We need to be careful about, I mean, we can use all the neighboring houses too, so it's not that bad. But we need to be careful about the way that we do this. We want to pay attention tomorrow, and tomorrow we want to see if it's possible that we can still refill things. That's the other half of it. We've got antidepressants in there. Oh, I'm so happy for this. Okay, so we've got disinfectant. We've got water bottles. We've got ripped sheets going on. we got some extra water right there. I don't have anything right there that can go anywhere. As I recall, upstairs was where we kept a large grouping of our goodies. Yes, indeed it was. I'm probably just going to go back to using the hammer. I feel like the hammer is probably one of the better weapons in the game right now. As far as just, you know, functionality is concerned. Throw that in there. We've got a pistol. We could go all out on this thing and just get some target practice in. I don't think that's too bad of an idea. Let's get some target practice in. We'll do it in the morning. We haven't played around with any guns or anything. And actually, there's a lot of enemies down to the south that I kind of wanted to deal with. So if we throw a whole bunch of these bullets up in here... I do wish, are there magazines in the game? Not like reading magazines, but magazines that you can use. Oh, don't do that. Cancel that. Cancel that. Don't do that. Hold on. You're going to break your own back. Damn. And you're just still going to keep picking them up, aren't you? Okay, so what I need you to do, put all of those back in there. I don't want to have a back injury right now. Throw all of that in there. That's the last thing I feel like dealing with. And then I'm going to hike some of this water downstairs. When you're carrying this much weight, any distance feels like a hike. So we'll take that in there. Okay, we got buckets full of water. We got that full of water. We should have enough water to last us at least three or four weeks, which should give us enough time, hopefully, to find an axe. But things are looking pretty dire for our character right now. Things are not looking good. I think I also wanted to stock up. Were we full up over here? No, we weren't. Let's throw the rest of the magazines over there. We'll throw the newspapers in there. Sheet of paper, empty notebook. Okay, looking good. We're drowsy and could do with a lie down. We're also hungry. Let's eat. There's a bell pepper left. Ew. Okay, so. Hey, the ice cream's not bad. We'll eat that. That'll help out with our mood. Yeah, let's throw some... I love ice cream. If I can get some ice cream down my gullet, that'll make me happy all day, every day. Onions and things like that should last for a while, so we shouldn't have to worry about that. Anything else that I'm carrying around that doesn't need to be on me? An extra hiking bag. What's that costing me? Probably a little bit of extra weight. Okay. That's out of the way. Oh, we got a full kettle right there. Yeah, I don't want to venture out of my house with a full kettle on me. That's extra weight that we don't need to carry around. 
It shouldn't be like a lot, but oh, it's never mind. It's two pounds. It is a lot. It's a considerable amount. Let's go back upstairs. We're going to rest out for the night now that we've eaten a meal of ice cream, which I will 100% admit to the fact that I've done it before. Ice cream is delicious and to be enjoyed whenever you need it. It's bad for the body, but it's good for the soul. That's what a guy told me at an ice cream shop one time. Now, obviously, the guy selling ice cream, of course, he's going to be the one to say that. But my point here is to say that I think that that's pretty true. Going through there. Okay, so there's the bed. We got a whole bunch of bullets on us right now. We've got the pistol. Let's... How do I... Nope, that is not what I wanted to happen. That is an accident. And I didn't mean to do it. So I guess there's a whole bunch of bullets on the floor right now. 60 rounds, to be exact. I'd actually be interested to see how quickly we go through 60 rounds. I don't know if there's a book that we have on shooting, but we would probably want to read that beforehand, too. I would say just grab half. And then maybe unpack that into your inventory and just see if that overweighs us. Wow, we actually don't have that great of a carrying capacity. We're kind of bad at this right now. We're kind of bad at this. We'll throw those in there. Let's equip our pistol. There it is. We'll equip that as a primary. Reload it right now real quick. Can you level up reloading by just like unloading and reloading the pistol over and over and over again? Hey, we can upgrade our sneaking if we want to. We got another point. I, yeah, aiming and reloading. We didn't get any XP for that, so I think maybe you have to do it under duress like you have to be in combat. Let's sleep until morning, shall we? We'll give it a good eight hours. That sounds good. Eight hours is always the recommended amount. It's not the amount that I ever get, but it's the recommended amount. Although I've noticed as I've gotten older, my body just like overrides me. Like I'll be tired and I just go back to sleep. And I, like, when I was younger, I could like stop it. Like I'd be like, no, we're not going to sleep right now. You can't make me. Woohoo! That got noisier than I remember. All right, zombies. It's time. I don't think I'm very good at this. I think I'm actually piss poor at this. Reload the gun! Maybe getting closer is the key. Yep, it seems like that's gonna work. Let's get closer. Yes, we have to go deeper. Put the gun up against your dome with the chrome and be like, BOOM! Hey, there we go. It actually seems like it'd be pretty easy to hit a zombie if you could remain calm. Why is this not working? Wow. How are you this bad at this? She walked around like 14 bullets. Now, I'm going to walk this out of the neighborhood, by the way, before this goes any more wrong. Wow. That's a pretty poor shooting. Let's just keep plugging rounds. So the way it used to work is that the bullet would go out in a straight line and it would just connect with something if you had it out there. I don't know if it's changed, but it appears as though we are really, really bad at shooting, or the system has changed somehow. I don't know. All right, well, let's finish off the remainder with a baseball bat. So that's going to be all of our pistol rounds for right now, and now we've got a horde to deal with. It's not going to be that bad, but... Let us apply ourselves now to the dreadful task of bludgeonry. You there, green woman, be destroyed by my blunt implement! Yes, but ooh, two at a time. I like it. I like it. You gotta speed this thing along every now and again. You gotta do some multiplication and just be like, How many asses can we kick? One, two, three asses. Ah, ah, ah. And that's how many little green asses we need to just take this bet. No, don't bite me right now. No, thank you. I don't prefer to be bitten. I should remain undamaged because I have a date this weekend. Where did I get a date in the apocalypse? Um, don't ask, don't tell. Apparently the internet is still thriving. How we're going to meet up, I'm not sure. And I'm pretty sure he's going to be some kind of weird creeper. You know, I always thought that in DayZ and games like that, they could just explain the sheer amount of sociopaths and like kill on sight people by just saying that there was a prison nearby that like all the convicts escaped from. So for example, where I grew up, there was a big ass prison. And if there was ever like an apocalypse and they just let the prisoners go, the entire area surrounding there would be, it'd be like filled with the mentally infirm, like the criminally insane essentially because I have Arkham Asylum 
like right next to where I used to live. So anyways, I always thought about that. You could really just sort of justify the whole thing easily, I guess. Clear out the neighborhood now that we fired off way too many guns. On the plus side, that means that some of the neighboring... Oh. What the hell was that? He got all big for a second. Did you actually think this was... Wow. He's a toughen. He was a toughen. All right, well, none of them had anything that I want, so that's unfortunate because I'm greedy like that. Let's take all these bullets out. How much XP did that give me? Did we at least, like, get better at anything? Oh, my God. We only got eight points of XP? How long does it take to level shooting in this game? That seems a little tedious. All right, well, whatever. I guess we'll stay on it. I mean, it seems like you clear out all the bullets on an entire map before you would actually have any amount of competence with a firearm at this rate, but... Don't run with the gun pointing at you. What are you doing right now? This lady. This lady needs help. We need to save her from herself. Can you climb that barbed wire right there? Oh, you can. Wow, that seems like it could be potentially painful, but good for you. All right, well, since we can climb barbed wire with nothing but our bare hands, jump into the house here, and I know there was a whole bunch of other stuff that was waiting on us. We do have some water. We have a leak right there. All of these are giving us unhappiness for some reason. Even though they're not rotten. I don't know I don't know if maybe it's turning or how that's working for us, but it's not good for us, that's for sure. Because I would love to eat some of those. I just don't want to deal with the unhappiness. And we do have antidepressants, so meh. I guess we just kinda like eat it all right now and then we'll deal with the unhappiness later. Anything that gets us through another day, I suppose. There we go. So we're going to be feeling a little sad right now. We're also going to eat some grapes. And that should hold us for the remainder of the day. It's also making us bored. Eating grapes is making us bored. Who would have known? You would never know that there was a correlation between those two things until you did just that right there. I guess I'll clean this place out right now. I don't think there's any large chance of a horde wiping out our other house. I think we're in really, really solid shape. So what I'm going to do is we'll get rid of that. We've got lockets, we've got more pistol rounds in there, sounds good to moi. we got another gun. How fast does this gun break down? I would assume pretty quickly, right? Oh no, it doesn't break down very fast at all. Still, I'm going to bring the other pistol with me because I'll forget about it if I don't. This room, oh yeah, that's why we left here. We had actually left this location, as I recall, because this window had gotten broken. It was no longer safe. Like, I couldn't guarantee that we could sleep in this location without something trying to break through a door or a window or whatever. And so I got nervous about leaving things here. Expert cooking and a couple of books. Alright. Seems acceptable. Since we're not coming back here, I would recommend filling water bottles while we're here and then drinking a little bit. Sounds like somebody else is getting down with the dock on this side too. As far as ideas go for where we can get another axe, there's a bottom left-hand corner warehouse in the city. But other than that, I got nothing for you. There's really... I have no ideas much beyond that, so... Don't know what to think. Do not know what to think. Got him. So do you get XP for just firing the gun, or do you actually have to kill something with the gun? It looks like you have to kill something with the gun before it counts. A little bit disappointing. Raindrops keep falling on my head. Do -ba -do -ba -do -ba -do. But that doesn't mean the world is completely and totally dead. Because they're super mean. Don't bite me. I've got a gun, I'm gonna shoot you in your dome now. Because I'm free. These bodies don't look wounded. There's nothing on them though, so whatever. We can go down to this populated area and maybe see if we can get something done here. Hey, we clipped him. I think they're gonna get back up though. It seems likely. Yeah, get dealt with, zombies. Reloading under duress. Shots getting all panicked like. Point blank, though, she was hitting better shots at a distance than she was up close. 
Reload again, and we're just gonna walk backwards down the street. I don't know what that was. Maybe the gun jammed. All right, looks like we're out of bullets. So we actually functionally have like zero left. Absolutely nothing. So at this point, what we want to do is we want to run away. This puts them right in our backyard, but they can't get through this fence right here. So it's a pretty safe situation for us. It also draws them out of the neighborhood to the south of ours. So that at least there's a bunch of zombies concentrated around there. Now, it does increase the chance that one day they'll come knocking on our door. Perhaps if stimuli or random noises cause them to do that. But for right now, we fired a bunch of shots. We learned to aim a little bit better. We got a couple more boxes of ammunition, so... Should work out, I guess. Let's go back into our house. If to, in order to pick up the rest of the ammo, we gotta go back into the city, which is worrying, but... Oh well. Supposedly, I can clean these bodies out... By, like, doing something here. Some sort of, like, gymnastics. Doesn't actually... Is there anything I could do right there? Grab corpse. There we go. And then we dump them out back. There we go. So we can actually clean up some of these bodies too and make a body pile so it's a little bit cleaner over here. So that while we're living in the neighborhood, we don't have to constantly worry about, you know, refuse and disease. Because I think that with a lot of bodies, you are going to run into that potential issue over time. So let's find out. We got ten bottles of water, a couple of buckets, and a couple of pots. We should be able to last for a long-ass time. Six bowls right there that I never got around to loading up. Pistol is now empty. We have no 9mm left. But I think the practice was worth it. Where did we get to on our skills? We killed 16 zombies with 60-something rounds. Okay, well, it's not perfect, but I don't think it's that terrible either. Was there a shooting book I could have read before I did that? Carpentry, farming, cooking. Yeah, it doesn't look like we have anything like that. I should probably go take some antidepressants real fast because it says our character is feeling weepy. So we'll grab one of those. In fact, I might keep those with me from now on just so I can use them whenever I need them because there are a lot of pills in each of these, as I recall. Let's see here. Or was that it? Oh, never mind. It took us out of our bag. Yeah, there's like 10 pills in each one. So if you're feeling not so great, you can actually fix that up pretty quickly. Looking at our situation right now. Let me see. Can I refill in the kitchen right now? I cannot, so the water is actually out, like period, done, kaputski. And since that is the case, we'll close the curtains right there. I don't know what our next plan is. Since that's done, that means we have to find an axe. Like, this is a desperation move at this point. And so if we can find an axe, it means we can make a rain barrel, which means we can fill up some of our stuff from there, make four or five rain barrels, actually. But until we get to that point of the game... I don't know what to tell you. We're... We're going to be hard up. We are going to be hard up, hard down, hard in any direction for things to make our lives easier. Let me put some cigarettes up in there. Keep the pistol right next to the antidepressants, clearly. Glad we got to snap off a couple rounds, though. That's pretty cool. I always hate it because, like, 90% of the time when I die in this game, I have, like, a million bullets lying around, and I've got a whole bunch of stuff that I never got a chance to use, and so it makes me sad. It makes me sad. Take that right there. I think I can build a cook fire or something like that, too. Oh, that's not going to work anymore? Okay. Well, then we'll throw it in this drawer along with everything else. Tweezers, wire, strip sheets. Okay, so let me grab a can opener. We're going to keep that as part of our day pack from now on. The pistol we no longer need. So I'll probably throw that in there. And we've got... Is there a second pistol over here? I thought we had two pistols on us. Looks like we only had the one. Bat's still holding together. I'm worried about going back into town. I really, truly am. I really don't want to. I... So if I grab you, do I have a chance of back injury here? Move that off the front porch. Bring it around this way. There we go. We'll make a pile and I'll set it on fire later. 
get rid of some of the disease around here. You know that's got to stink. It's got to smell so bad. Like the smell of like one dead rat in your attic can stink up your whole house. So I can only imagine. Oh my god. Okay, I might have made a mistake with the firearms. We might actually have a problem. Well, I might as well make my job easy by dragging you guys back here. Got that one on a couple of taps. Trying not to break my own window right now, too, because that'd be embarrassing. Neighbors are going to think I live in a slum. I don't even know what I'm hitting anymore. There's so many of them coming at me. If I can score some twofers on these little guys, that'd work out great, too. Alright, another one down. Another one down. Surprised we aren't exerted yet. But there's another couple cleared out of the hood. Now, do zombies spawn? There seemed to be some debate back when I played this game last time about whether they respawn or not. Or B, whether once they were dead, they were dead forever and that was that. Now, I'm assuming that's something I probably could have tailored in the options somewhere. But it does look like there is some... I only fired a couple rounds. I don't think they would wander this far, would they? I still think it's smart that I fix them. Here, let me run a little bit right here and see how many we can pull back. But this will probably be the last thing that we do for the episode. We're a little bit groggy right now. But killing off a couple of these guys seems like a pretty good plan unless we become winded. Get rid of him and his sweat stains. Apparently, fun fact, zombies still sweat, so, you know, things to know about that. How many zombies can you hit with one swing? It looks like two is actually the cap. However, funnily enough, that's actually enough to hold, like, an entire horde at bay most of the time. The other question is, do you get double durability loss when you hit multiple zombies? I saw one die right there. Either that or he's bleeding profusely. Still not exhausted. I think the bat's probably... A, I like the bat. I don't know. There's something classical about the bat. It's kind of like the cricket bat, too. You just like... No. Get rid of you. Yeah, those sweat stains, man. Those are considerable. You need to go to the laundry right now. You should swing at the one on the ground right there that's... Yeah, there you go. That's right in front of you. That would be my recommended advice right this moment is to hit the one that's right in front of you. Trying to bite your ankles. Because the rest of these guys, while concerning, are not that concerning. Go through all these and make sure that we got everything that we need. Okay. That's a very, very nasty... Oh, that one's still up too. Let's get rid of him so that accidents don't happen. He's got a locket, which is going in my pocket. Because obviously I need to get a docket full of the cash once I get up out of here. Locket like Davy Crockett. I don't know. There's lots of stuff that rhymes over there, but I think this is probably the point where I'll break off the episode. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerdcast for the next episode of Project Zomboid. I will see you all later. Hi, do everybody.